Welcome back once again, Guildmates. We are here with episode 24. That's right, we are just two away from being done with season one. Uh, so I'm recording Thursday's episode technically on Friday. So it's just the Friday before that. Uh, really early in the morning, about 5.09. <laughs> But that having been said, guys, uh, there's a lot of really good stuff. The freaking battle between Karasuno and Seijo is coming to a close. So it all comes to a head this episode. Uh, for those of you who don't already know, I have seen these episodes already before. And if you're new here and you haven't seen these episodes, please go watch the episodes before coming back and checking out this reaction. I don't want to spoil stuff for anybody. That being said, Karasuno's going to lose, and it's sad, but we're going to make it through. We're going to get through this together. All right, that being all well and good, let's go ahead and jump into it. I love that they started right here. Because it's so freaking cool. Listen to that. That beat, that percussion right there is so good. Whoever composed and scored this did a really good job with everything. Nice! Even if it's just a tip, you got it and you got in. Holy crap! <laughs> Poor Hidata. He's ready. <laughs> oh man, yeah, this this crazy montage that they've got right here that just speeds everything into the 30s. Suddenly we're in the 30s. Oh, crap. Oh, my shoulders and neck are seriously stiff. Oh, yeah, Kyoko's got to be going through some serious crap right now. Yep, we're 30, tied in 31. Just the, the lack of... The lack of any music until that point. And then the, the just echoing sound on those effects did more... Get, was a stronger impact than if they'd have had some building up music in the background. Less is more sometimes. That is definitely proof of less is freaking more. Sorry, I was leaning back because my neck. Oh. Uh, it's okay. This is going to be my last one that I record tonight, and then I'm going to be editing, so we should be alright. <laughs> See, yeah, Oikawa picked up on it, but he used he used it to his bit the best of his ability. There we go. All because Kunimi reserved his strength and his stamina. Wow, the sweat and steam is really coming off of him. まさかビビってんのか <laughs> 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 All right, this imagery right here. Oh, that gave me chills when I first saw it. Him taking that off and leaving the crown and everything behind to join the commoners. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I love that. He's like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I freaking love those, man. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because 
They've got Nishinoya. Go, Noya, Noya, go! Unfortunately, the same thing that you did where you read his, mo his move, Oikawa just read yours. Yep. They read yours. Tobio. Sucks, man. It really, really sucks. This is a heavy, heavy loss. But at the same time, it takes a heavy loss to f sometimes make you grow even more from where you already are. But it was a hell of a game. You took the second place team to a th third set and forced a 30 point deuce game. It's Even the people that were cheering for Oikawa, the girls cheering for Oikawa, really had a had to tip their hats to Karasno. Which now I'm kind of wondering how many girls are going to show up to cheer for Hinata later on as he gets into his second and third years. It's kind of interesting to, to get them talking about it because they've been on, they're now on both sides of the court. They're on the court, they're spectators. Yeah, you don't even get time to, you don't even get time to absorb the fact that you lost. You have to, you have to get off the court for the next team. Yeah, that's true. Nothing could be more troublesome. Holy shit. Oh, this episode is such a heartbreaker because about halfway through, they lose the match. And you gotta deal with that. Do it. Go, Hirata, go. <laughs> this scene is like so heartbroken. Jesus, you can see that they that he's been crying already, just from the puffiness around his eyes. Oh, I'm gonna tear up like a bitch, <laughs> just so you guys know, like, this whole scene, I'll be lucky if I can see it because of the tears. What's gonna get me worse is when you start seeing Ryu and Noya, and they're just... Damn. God, that... Jesus. And seeing Kageyama crying too. Damn, man. Noya. Like, seeing Noya like that, just... Oh. They could have ended the season like that. They didn't necessarily have to do a next episode. They could have ended it there and it would have been fine. But I'm glad that they did an episode 25. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <sighs> like, even knowing it, having to sit through and watch that scene is fucking heart heartbreaking. It's earth-shattering. It's one of those scenes that, at, at the same time, I want to say to, I want to say to Terajima Sensei, well done, and also fuck you. You know? <laughs> Why? Why you gotta play with my heartstrings like that? It's, it's, 
It's my heart. It's my heart that you're messing with. It's my heart. My heart. My heart that you're messing with, man. Why you gotta... It's it's not a freaking upright bass. You don't get to play with my heartstrings like this. That's not fair. Ah, oh, damn. I'm still tearing up. Ah. Oh. I chopped up an onion earlier. Nothing. That scene. All right. Uh... So I do have two things that I wrote down, <laughs> and one of them is a joke. Uh, Karasno would have won if they'd let Scott Sterling play. If you don't get that reference, go look up Scott Sterling on YouTube. Uh, Scott Sterling Volleyball, specifically. Uh, Oikawa and Iwazumi are one of the best friendships in the series. It's absolutely true. Like You can tell that they grew up and they're, they've been good friends for a long time, even if, even if Iwazumi does do a lot of name calling with Oikawa and stuff like that. Uh, you can easily tell that these two are good friends and I'm sorry. I'm not leaning into the mic more. It's just my shoulders and my neck are killing me every time I lean forward to talk closely into the mic. So I have to, yeah, I have to stop. Alrighty. That was episode 24. It should be on Patreon in about an hour. Uh, and <laughs> wow, I got the hiccups now. <laughs> so glad that I stopped. <laughs> uh, that's going to be it for my reactions tonight for me recording stuff. Dude, uh, it's Friday. I'm going to record one more for Haikyuu and I'll be done with it. <sighs> but essentially, yeah, um, I got all of next week's stuff done tonight. I feel really good. Or this, this morning, I guess, because it's 530 in the morning. Now I have to go and get the YouTube version of episode 20 done so it can be up in time in four and a half hours. I will see you guys later in the next episode which will be oh, probably uh, several hours from now. I probably won't record it until I wake up in the after afternoon. That having been said, later, Gators. Mm.